Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Monday Mystery or Mystery Monday. I think I switched those around a lot. And we're going to be covering a topic today that Angie is going to present because Stephanie and I, of course, are going to be back on Aquarius Rising Africa later today where we're going to be talking about black eyed kids and Stephanie is going to be talking about some orphanages up in Connecticut. And we've already covered black eyed kids on my channel a long time ago. So we're going to do a different mystery here on my channel. Usually I like to coincide them with the same topic, but this is an, 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 an interesting mystery that Angie experienced as, as a child and she's having memories and she was texting me and we got Stephanie here who's going to pull the cards. But before we get into that, before we get into the story, again, you're watching this over on Rumble. You followed us from YouTube because this story is going to get going to be difficult for us to like tap dance around. So we're, we just didn't want to have to bullshit around words. So we're just going to go straight for it today. But let me go ahead before we get started into the story. Um, of course, you guys all know Stephanie. Please go over and subscribe to her channel if you have not. Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. Stephanie. You had a course start on the 29th, the tarot course. Do you want to just share with the audience everything going on before we get into the story about your business? So, yeah, that course has started. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to be adding a second beginner's tarot course. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a recorded tarot course for those who live in um, time zones that are further away. Um, and that will be a little bit at a reduced price for people because it's not live. Um, the only thing that you, you do benefit from doing a live course because that way if you have questions, you can ask right on the Zoom screen. However, if you're not able to make the times that I provide for the um, Beginner's Tarot course, um, you know, you can certainly email me um, your questions and everything. And it's a good way to at least learn and experience the tarot cards. Um, and that's not going to be as in depth as my live course, but that was something that was brought to my attention as a lot of people um, from New Zealand and Australia wanted to join my course. And of course they're not going to wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> yeah. to do my course. So I figure that's a great way for, or if like somebody is like a nurse or something and they, they're working a 12 hour shift and they really can't make my course, you know, if they're in the States or something. So that's a great way to um, experience the, the tarot course that way. But yeah, I will be putting together a second class um, that will probably start um, maybe in two or three weeks, um, give or take, depending on um, when I get that all set up on my um, website. Now, the one thing that is going on, so my at-home life has gotten a little bit more on the busier side. So what I will be doing is taking a very temporary step back from doing, uh, from booking um, personal readings that are on Zoom. So I will be doing recorded readings that you can book in the future with me. Um, I just have to add more spaces into my schedule for that. And hopefully by the time this goes on air, I will have already done that. Now, if you do have a reading with me set up already, um, you are grandfathered into seeing me on Zoom. Okay, so it's not like you're going to get a recorded reading. If you already booked with me, um, you are all set. Um, you don't have to worry about any changes um, being made there. So don't worry if you have booked with me. Probably until about February, March, going um, in that direction. Anybody who wants to book with me right now, um, what you would do is you would book on the recorded reading and you would add, I'm going to probably um, say about four questions, four to six questions. I got to decide and I'm going to consult with my higher self on that. Um, you would put that in the comment section, but I'm going to put all those instructions um, in the booking site. So you guys aren't confused. You don't have to memorize anything. It'll just be right there. Okay. So those are the changes being made right now, just because things are getting hectic. I'm trying to put more content on my, um, my channel. And, um, also too, I really am excited about the courses because I love to teach. Yeah. It's a big thing with me. I love, love, love to teach. And I love to teach things I'm passionate about. So I'm like really excited about starting these courses and everything. So I'm, I'm really digging my heels in with that. I'm probably going to add some more pendulum courses as well for people. 
Perfect. And guys, I'll put all those down in the description, but all the links to that stuff in the description box below, both on Rumble and on YouTube. And of course, we have Angie here at Angie Tillman. Now, Angie, isn't there anything new happening in your life with uh, with your fickle company? I'm going to put those links up as well with all your companies. And I'm telling you guys, like, I love Southern women. And Angie, your uh, Southern women are like are kind of comedians. Like a lot of Southern women are very funny. And if y'all want to watch some funny videos that are got a lot of truth bombs in them, uh, you just need a smile for your day. Make sure you also subscribe to Angie because her videos. Uh, before we started recording, I was telling Stephanie. I'm gonna see if I can find the video. Where is that video, Angie? Where you were talking about um your uh your spiritual your spiritual life and it was just it, it was sassy and it was hysterical and um i'll have to say i'll, I'll put that one down there where i'm wearing orange orange dad mm -hmm. pass it on oh, here it is right color. here <laughs> a message to those questioning my faith i just think this is the funny i've watched this video multiple times now because you're so sweet. You're just like, no, I just don't want to have to block you. I just think you're hysterical. And I, and I told before we started filming now, Angie and I both, we've talked about this come from a very, uh, church is a very social, social center of the Southern life. You know, it's very cultural down here, but Stephanie also, obviously, as everyone knows, came from a very religious background. So it'd be interesting for us to do a video with both of you. Um, I left the church a lot sooner than both of you ladies did. And what I love about this video, Angie, is you basically said it straight, kind of the way Stephanie has been saying it, like just because you've, you've left some of your indoctrinated beliefs doesn't mean you've left God. Right. You've actually gone closer to God. Right. And you're understanding things a little bit deeper. And so I'm going to put it out there. And you guys, so if anybody has any questions um, that they want us, or topics they want us to talk about when it comes to like deconstruction, deconstructing from the church, uh, let us know and we can cover that with Stephanie and with Angie one day and just kind of have a heart to heart about what that's like. I'd love um, to do that. Yeah, that's, I would too. That's another one of my passions is getting people to really stop and think. And, and you know, when, when we're indoctrinated with dogma, it actually puts up this wall between you and God. It really does. You're, you're in this box and you cannot worship God in your own loving, unique way. And I don't see my personality, maybe because I'm an air sign. I don't know. I hate being boxed in anything. The fact that I've lived in the same house for six years is just boring. I don't like mundane. I don't like being boxed in. I like adventure. I like to travel. Now I like to travel. But, you know, it's like one of those things where I, I think I was one of those little church rebels where and stuff, your your uh, microphone's cutting in and out. Uh, okay, so I hate my microphone on this thing. I need to get a, I need to get one of those things I wear. Yeah. I did have one. Don't know where it is. <laughs> it's a Mercury um, retrograde thing. That's it's just a Mercury. Yeah, <laughs> but it it's funny because it's like I'd go to church. And we'll talk about this on another show one day in depth. But I remember just walking in church and just putting on my big girl pants and my you know my 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 churchy attitude, my church woman attitude. But deep down inside, I'm like. This effing sucks. <laughs> well, and, and it was and I, I such denial of it. And I, I want to say too, as we go, because I know I'm going to get comments about what about other religions? What about other religions? I recognize that. We all recognize that. But the three of us grew up Christian. And so that's what we know. That's what we were grandfathered into. We know the church. We know how it works. Even though I left a long time ago, I still know how that's ingrained in my childhood. I know how it works. However, for those who have left like the Jewish faith or the Islamic faith or even the Hindu faith, there's probably going to be a lot of similarities to the emotions felt and the deep deconstructing. So for those that did not grow up Christian, but have left your faith, I would encourage you to like watch that as well, because you're going to find commonality, you know, because the truth is God is omnipresent. God is, what is it? Ram Dass used to say, treat everyone like they're God dressed in drag. Yes. You know, like God is everywhere and everything and every flavor. And that's what, when you leave these religions, hopefully that's what you're coming into is more of a deeper understanding of God. Now I know some people leave the religions go the exact opposite direction where they yeah. don't have faith at all, but to both of you and myself included and a lot of people, it, it, it opened us up to, to having a deeper connection to the divine source. And so they don't want song. you to have that though. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who sings that song like, what if God was? Oh, um, yes. <laughs> what was her name? I can't. Oh, the, just, just, 
something like exactly. what? I, I'm sure the audience is yelling at us. From, well, uh, no, what was her name? All right, you know what? During the yeah. when, when you get to the topic, Angie, I'm going to Google it on my. I'm phone. going to add it to my my play. I have a, a playlist called Imagine. It's just like just kind of make yourself think a little, you know. <laughs> yes, yeah, Joan. It's Joan something. Joan. Uh, anyway, I'll look it up. I know the audience is yelling at us at the computer screen <laughs> right now, but um, but anyway, so so if you guys want us to do just a heart to heart conversation about be very raw and open about what that looks like. Let us know and ask your questions down in the, the comment section below um, about what, what you'd want us to talk about if we did something like that. Cause yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite things to talk about too. God is one of my favorite topics ever. I love talking about God. I love spirituality. So I'm, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of the creator. So, um, so anyway, are you guys ready? I know Stephanie knows nothing about what we're talking about today. And I know I got a text message from Bryce about 20 minutes ago. You want to join us? Really? I'm like, Oh, yay. I'm like, well, I, <laughs> However, so I watched Angie's video last night. See, I do pay attention to your channel, Angie, because you are freaking hilarious. Oh. And when I'm having a rough day, your videos make me laugh. <laughs> thank you. I saw your comment. I was like, thank you. <laughs> really felt so rough. It's like, <laughs> I look really bad right now. I'm in my PJs. So I'm like, girl, you should see me in the garden. Oh my God, you got me topped. <laughs> No, let, well, let me, let's just, let me say that, right? Okay, so Angie's like a, like, she does, cook, she's, she's a magic magician in the kitchen. And so some of her older videos on your channel kind of show you doing different recipes and stuff like that. And that's what your company is. It's, yeah, I, I can teach you how to make a steak, even though I can't stomach eating a steak anymore. But I, I can sure teach you how to make one, make your man happy. <laughs> Stephanie, what was your son for Halloween three years in a row? A pickle. A pickle is a pickle. <laughs> he, he wants to do it again. He's like, I saw my pickle costume. Do you think it still fits? I'm like, it's an adult costume. I think it will fit. Because yeah. he's, he's a, you know, he's a tall kid. And he just walks around. He's, he's, he's engulfed in this, this massive pickle suit with his arms sticking out. <laughs> I want to send him some pickles. You should, send him by the way, it's one of his favorite foods. He loves pickles. Okay. Well, and that's, so I brought that up. If you guys are new to the, to Angie, that's what she does. And I will link on uh, my past episodes with Angie down in the description box below. Cause she talks about that, how she started her, her fickles company of pickling during the, the crash of 2008. And she kind of was a Phoenix rising from the ashes with that. And now she's got this great big company um, that's very successful where she, she, uh, since she has, I don't know what you call it. You have product in a lot of stores. Right. Uh, yeah. There's a store coming to pick up today because we just haven't, we don't have um, the means to really distribute anymore. So they'll the just, order and yeah. like, can I come pick up? I'm like, yeah, just pull up to my garage. And so we've got a store in Macon, Georgia is picking up today. And, and so you guys, I'm going to put that link down to her website as well, because you can just order from your house too and, and, yeah. and, and ship in a ton of product and stuff from Angie because, um, yeah, that's one thing when, I don't know. I don't know how to do anything in the kitchen except for <laughs> microwave stuff. I don't even know how to boil. I love it. it. It's I my love favorite place to be. <laughs> like all my kids' cook. friends, they all know that, um, Miss Tillman is in the kitchen. Like I let, I'm usually barefoot for real in the kitchen like this and I'm happy there. Well, you're, well, that's what, you know, I, I've, I've tried to tell people who are good at cooking too, to open up a YouTube channel, because that's one thing, um, that is good across the board to make money off of is, is doing cooking, doing cooking shows. And like my sister is a mother of three and she's always like, you know, I would love to have there as a channel where people just cooked, where they don't tell you the whole story beforehand. They just cook so that I can see it make the food for my, my kids. And, you know, she, my, my brother-in-law's family is Italian. So she had to learn all these Italian dishes to cook for her kids. And, you know, but Angie, she all of that. Oh, she's, Angie's hysterical too. You a guys. Little dash of this, a little dash of this. A little dash I'm a, I am like prime Italian mama cook in the kitchen. I'm this 411 little girl. Okay. I got my bare feet as well. And it's like, a little bit of this in the tomato sauce, a little, I never measure anything. Never. Nope. Doesn't happen. And I can cut my own recipes. So the only yeah. thing is with the great awakening, I got really lazy. Oh, step about. it closer to your mic. Mike. <laughs> Hold on. I got really lazy about cooking after, ever since I woke up with the great awakening. So yeah, well, I don't cook. So <laughs> at all, that's not my, that's not my forte. I've never, yeah, been she's there. like, I just got Grubhub. 
Yeah, I, I listen. <laughs> I live off of Grubhub, and I, that's what I live off of is Grubhub. So <laughs> you're in the city, so that's a little bit different. Anyways, yes, it is. But, yeah, I, I do want to know how to pickle things though, because I tried pickling cucumbers two years ago and jarring them, and they were a little bit mushy. That would be a good thing for Angie to do is to run a course on how to do this. I will. Not to pressure you, Angie, or anything, but that would be. And I never used to measure anything either, Stephanie, but I started having to because people started asking me, like, how did I make, you know, like how to make things. Yeah. So I started, like, when I'm cooking now, yeah. like, should I write this down? You know, this, I know this. <laughs> you know, like, um, it's a family secret. Yeah. <laughs> Even from me. I don't know. I just do it. So. Anyway, and a lot of my, my, a lot of my products, because I have other things besides pickles, and a lot of those came from where I was sh showing people how to make these things. And they said, why don't you just put a label on that, too? And so now I have the barbecue sauces, and now I have the sauce, you know, that so that's really how that, that, that happened was... I I stalk your website a lot. Um, and I saw that on your website that you have sauces and all sorts of stuff. And so, and as I said, on one show with you, Angie, I mean, you know, like you, there's people in your life where you want to get them a gift, but you don't know what to get, what to get them. Something like sending them something from Angie's website would be a great gift. I think, cause you, you jar them so beautifully as well, you know, like that. So that's a great gift idea too. If you have like a coworker or a boss or like your te your kid's teacher and you, you, you don't know what to, you know, there you go. Just, and I'm sure they can sh just ship it directly to the person's house. And, um, and there, and as you see, you see Angie, it's a small business and that's what we're, we're pushing for in this new, um, this new world we want to live in. We want to support small businesses because there's love there. It's not coming manufactured from a big corporation. It's coming from Angie. Like this came from, you were telling you saying you used to put them out on your front porch and people would come by, pick it up and put money in a cigar box. Like that's just how it was. And so that's what we want to support going forward is people, small businesses. And because that's where the love is, right? That's where the love is. Well, speaking of love, we're about to take a drastic turn. <laughs> from love. Drastic, drastic turn. Um, and so what I